Now let's look at some problems involving work and springs. To answer questions about the amount of work needed to stretch or compress a spring, a particular distance, we're going to need a law from physics called Hooke's Law. So Hooke's Law tells us that the force required to maintain a spring stretched x units beyond its natural length is proportional to x. So we have the formula here that f of x, our force, is equal to kx, where k is a positive constant called the spring constant. We can think of that spring constant as measuring the sort of stiffness of the spring, how hard it is to um, stretch or compress that spring. Okay, so we have this force equals kx. The important thing to remember about the, the x that goes into this um, is not the total length of the spring, but how much we're stretching that spring beyond its natural length. So the, the spring has sort of a happy equilibrium position when it's at rest, it's not under any any tension, so we would call that its, its equilibrium position. So besides saying beyond its natural length, we can say beyond its equilibrium position. So this here is what we call it equilibrium. This is not stretched or compressed. When I would then go to stretch the spring, I would be going some distance x beyond um, my equilibrium position. So this is being stretched that distance of x. Here x is greater than zero. Um, and this is going to make my force um, be positive as well. So what else can we do besides stretching the spring? I could also compress the spring. So I could go from zero to x by trying to squish that spring a little bit. And now here I have um, the situation where it's being compressed. I have x being less than zero, and so my force will turn out to be less than zero as well because I'm going in that in a different um, direction there. Now let's look at an example applying Hooke's Law. So suppose a force of 30 newtons is required to stretch and hold a spring 0.2 meters from its equilibrium position. We want to know how much work is required to compress that spring 0.4 meters from its equilibrium position. So we know we're going to be using Hooke's Law, so we have our force is equal to kx. Um, we're given some information about the force needed to stretch our spring a certain distance, and then we're asked to compute the work required to compress the spring a certain distance. Um, in order to um, answer the question about the work done, we know that we're going to need to use our integral of force dx. And since our force function here is equal to kx, we're going to be needing to integrate kx dx. So our first step is going to be to determine what that k value needs to be. So step one, we need to find that spring constant k. So the first piece of information in this problem can um, be used to help us solve for k. So we know that we have this force of 30 newtons that's required to stretch our spring. 0.2 meters beyond the equilibrium position. Um, so we can go ahead and use x equals 0.2 in here, and we see that k is going to be 30 divided by 0 0.2. 0 0.2 is the same as 1 fifth, so we're going to have this spring constant of 150. Okay, so now we can go ahead and incorporate that here into step two. Now here we want to just be a little bit careful. We're being told that we're compressing our spring. So let me just draw a picture here. I have my spring that was going to go from being um, at equilibrium position from zero to being compressed 0.4 meters from that equilibrium position. So I'm going to a position of negative 0.4 here. So it's going from zero to um, negative 0.4. Okay. So we're going to have that the work done here is this integral from 0 to negative 0.4 of 150x dx. Okay, so what does that give us here? We'll have 150x squared over 2 evaluated from 0 to negative 0.4. So this will be 75 times negative 0.4 squared minus 0 squared. So computing this, we have 75 times, let's see, negative 0.4 squared, 
2.4 is 4 tenths or 2 fifths. Um, when I square that, that's going to end up being 4 over um, 25. Okay, so we see we're going to end up with 12 joules of work for our final answer.